I'm working on a poor man's function generator that gives out a waveform and yesterday or the day before I have showed a waveform and this video is more or less about the construction techniques for uh, this circuit that's now here in a more or less experimental stage um, but perhaps it's interesting. The circuit generates frequencies between 21 kilo cycles and 1 megahertz. And I've used by purpose here two typical high uh, frequency transistors, the BF90 and the BF194. This is the heart of the circuit. And the, the signal is sent into a field effect transistor and that acts as a kind of decoupling. So here we have a low impedance out uh, parallel to that 1k resistor. Here is the power supply. I first had a very big electrolytic capacitor in that power supply but that, that didn't work. The oscillator didn't want to start, but anyway I changed it to a 1 microfarad capacitor and uh, at the same time I needed a start button. Could be that the oscillator doesn't start and then you have to uh, disconnect the power supply lead for a very short moment, then connect it again and then the whole thing works again. That is typical for this circuit, the A-stable multivibrator. A typical problem and um, I've made more videos about that anyway. So uh, you need high, uh, high uh, frequency transistors with a good amplification. That's necessary, otherwise it won't work. Here, the tested high, um, the tested amplification factor was 130, and here also approximately 130. And now more about the construction techniques. Here you see that circuit in its first stage. A wooden plate on the back side, tin plate, glued with uh, this type of glue, contact glue, and also this type of glue, the same glue. Uh, so at first cover one side of the, uh, the tin plate with this glue, let it dry in, both sides must be covered with glue. Uh, and then dry it in. After 15 minute, minutes you can con you can uh, glue it to the wood. And here I did the same thing. Also tin plate connected to the plywood. And that plywood is approximately 3 millimeters. And that's good because many electronic components, the shaft of electronic components don't get very far in many cases. So uh, 3 millimeter is good and even with this potentiometer here, here, these two Born's potentiometers, I had to carve out a little bit on the front to mount them with that screw here. So anyway, this is the circuit and there's one BNC uh, output and two outputs with which you can use crocodile clips. That's also, that works also very good even up to say 10 megahertz. So um, BNC is of course a shielded, uh, shielded plug anyway. I have uh, pre-wired the frequency switch 
and that's important because it's very difficult when such a switch is on the uh, vertical position to solder it all properly. So this is the pre-wired switch and that is in fact what you see here. This part of the circuit and that part of the circuit is the pre-wired frequency switch. And furthermore, uh, there's no, not so much more to tell. Here are the pins out. I use uh, M3 bolts, nuts, whatever. Uh, the BNC out and you can see here some uh, polyester uh, to make the, the components more or less immovable. And that's important, especially on the higher frequencies. Every, everything must be mounted in a very properly fixed way. So the next thing that I want to do is wiring the whole circuit. And I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Perhaps I'm going to connect here wires to the transistors. Or I take the complete front plate out and then uh, do make the transistor circuit here uh, due to the fact that the circuit needs some short wiring and I want to go to the ideal situation that is that we have here wiring as short as possible but don't worry too much the whole circuit will surely work when you mount here a transistor circuit and make wiring to the front. No problem at all. So that was more or less all to tell. Both tin plates here um, will be soldered together here with three thick wires so that they form a uh, galvanic unit. That's important. Only then you have the proper shielding between the front and the, the circuit where your electronic unit is mounted. So a very easy way to make an electronic circuit that, that works good. Surely uh, between say 20 kilohertz and 15 megahertz I have made in this way for instance uh, shortwave receivers up to approximately 18 megahertz. This is a simple and good way. Doesn't take much time. Doesn't take much effort. Etc. Etc.